Well, what a day. What a day in Jets Nation. What a fun start to the day. Waking up early. Second I wake up, bloop, tweet comes in. New uniforms, old uniforms, whatever twist you want to put on it. The Jets revealed their uniforms today. We're going to talk about that. We're going to get your takes. We're going to get what you like about it, what you don't like about it. We're going to get everything that's on your mind, as well as mine, right after this. And now, welcome to Pride and Chaos. Welcome to the darkest year of our adventure. And now, give it up for Jeremy and me. Now he's scary. And as usual, Nick is wrong. Why are you the way that you are? God, I can't stand you. Let's go to eat a damn snack. Whoa. What's up, everybody? So here we are. Not as big of a deal as they made it last time, right? Last time the Jets announced the uniforms, they had a big party. I dropped it. They had a big party. VIPs were there. Announcements were made. Players came out. This time they're like, ah, we don't want to hear what the fans got to say. We're just going to release this video. We're just going to do an AI version of Aaron Rodgers. We're not going to make that big of a deal about it which I think is the right thing to do. They know this fan base is loud, boisterous, opinionated, too opinionated at times. So what do you guys think? What's up, Dark Soldier? What's up, Wild Wave? How you guys doing? I'll get to you guys in a second. I'm just checking everything in the background. I had to change the hat. I forgot the green hat with the green screen. I wanted to rock the new logo, but that green hat with the big the green screen, does it blends in. The green screen starts to take the hat over. I want to try this background because I downloaded it today. But let me see how it works without the green hat. I don't know. I got to get the logo higher. Damn it. Let me see if I can edit that while I'm on air before we get into this. Um, Let me see if I can shrink you down. I can't. Nope, can't do it. All right. I don't know. If I could get that higher, if I could get that logo up here, I'd like it more. But I I don't know. I'm working on it. I tried to put it together real fast and pop on, and then I was just too excited. There we go. What's up, Infrared? My man, Big Knob, Dark Soldiers in the house, Wild Waves here. What's up? So tell me, what do you guys think? What's your thoughts? Yeah, I know, the all white. I know. If I can get a green one with the white logo, I think that'll be better. But I'm too white to have that bright white background. I blend in. It looks like I'm naked. It looks like Jeremy's standing behind me with his tattoo on his arm. All right. So what do you guys think, man? I I like my favorite part of the uniform is two things. I like that the numbers are bigger. These numbers were too goddamn little. Uh, The Jermaine Johnson looked like two little birthday candles, number 11. I like the numbers are bigger. I really love the Brees Hall 20. The 20 takes up like the whole back, like an old, the old Curtis Martin jersey with the big numbers. Uh, and the yes, you beat me to it, you bastard. You good, distinguished gentleman. The stripe on the side of the pants and how like it, like, it looks like it narrows as it gets 
further down the leg. That's what she said. Uh, I think that I think that was missing. I think the the old uniforms were too plain. Uh, I, I like them. I like them. I'm not into them. You guys know I don't buy jerseys for me. I don't wear them. I just buy them for the boy. Uh, but I, I think it's a good look. I think it's a nostalgic look. I think it's a crisp look. I think it's um, the the green jersey with the white pants, with the green socks, and the white arm sleeves, with the green helmet, and the white face mask. Holy shit. Heavenly. Heaven. I'm going to let me pull it up. I think you know exactly which picture. I'm looking for images. Oh, let's see where I am. Oh, I put new. How do you put new uniform and get all the old uniforms? God, I hate Google sometimes. Sorry, old man. Old man on the internet. Let's search this out. See if I can pull this up for you. This look is absolute fire. Oh, it's so clean. It's so clean. There it is. Boom. Let's share screen. I hear you, JJ. You want to hear more draft talk? You want to hear more Brock Bowers talk? Something different. Something different. It's not a big deal. It's just something fun to discuss. This is the look that I think is phenomenal. This look to me is the look. I know we didn't wear the green jerseys a lot, but that look is crisp. That look is nice. That look is fire. The green stripe down, I guess I'm wrong. It doesn't narrow as it goes down. I guess some of the other angles... It looked like that, but the white sleeves and the white glove. And let's discuss this. Can I zoom in on this or no? Nope. If I can, I don't know how. The white collar, the V-neck, whatever you want to call that, that white collar around the neck, I think, makes it. That's phenomenal. And the way the helmet glistens, oh, she's beautiful the white face mask, it's so much better. It is so much better than than the shit that we just walked out there with. And like JJ said, they don't care about the jerseys. We want wins. Of course we want wins. I don't care if we're dressed smeared in dog shit. If we win, we win. That's all that matters. I don't care if we're covered in mud. We win, we win. That's all that matters. But there is an expression Look good, feel good, play good. It looks neat. It looks crisp. It looks much better. It's an upgrade. And if you don't think that these young players care about how they look, these are players that don't wear suits to games anymore. They go get stylists to get them outfits, or they have their girls go get them specific outfits to wear to and from the game. So if you don't think that looking awesome matters to this new generation you're nuts i don't doubt it dane i do not doubt it i don't doubt it sir fears grim is back what's up man i have the 80s helmet with the same logo huge difference in green yeah that other green was more dull it was almost like it was like if they, they took this helmet and like sanded it down. This has more of that. Uh, I don't know the word. Help me out. But it's it. It's got that like reflective look. And the white, all the white pops with this green. It pops. The white pops, and the I appreciate the white more here. I mean, look at even CJ with the green gloves. It makes the white pop. That looks great. 
That looks great. Oh, look at Snowball coming in. Saying Pearl Scent. Pearl Scent. I'm kidding. It's Pearl Essence. <laughs> Careful. If I start singing this, Johnny's going to have another kid any minute. We're bringing sexy back. Yeah. The AFC East don't know how to act. Yeah. If we rush your quarterback, he's on his back. Yeah. Take me to the bowl. Oh, she's pregnant. Sorry, Johnny. The quarterback is fragile. But I like that. I like it. I like it. GVH, my man, where you been? Not uniform related. That's fine. Do you know if Lincoln signing with Seattle do anything for us regarding comp picks? No. From my understanding, comp picks are only for players whose contracts have expired. Anybody that you have terminated early does not factor into the compensation equation. Otherwise, everybody would be cutting people to get more comp picks if a player didn't work out. A contract has to come to completion. That's my understanding of that. Bryce Huff factors into that equation. His contract finished out. That's my understanding of that rule. I am almost 100% confident of what I'm telling you is 100% accurate. Because Carl Lawson won't factor in. Carl Lawson got cut early. Jefferson got cut early. Guys who get cut early don't factor in. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I'll leave 99.97. Ladies and gentlemen, the man, the legend himself, Mr. Charles Gorman, has entered the chat. And he is 100% right. While he does like the uniforms, we need to start winning. Charles, I said it maybe before you got in the chat. This young generation that wears these outfits, these fits, I believe as they call them, to the games, from the games, they care about their walk-in and how they look. If you don't think these young guys have the mindset of look good, feel good, play good, we're crazy. It doesn't make a difference on the field, but liking how you look matters. It matters greatly. It does matter. Ooh, did I? Did I say that and not give a that's what she said? Or a no diddy? Black Friday for Black Friday again. I know last year the Jets offered to host the Black Friday game every year. I know a lot of fans are upset by that. Uh, yeah, Johnny, I'm going to do call-ins in a little bit, buddy, after the uh, the opening. We'll do some call-ins, pal. <clears throat> Excuse me. I was outside of my daughter's softball game for like two hours, and the pollen is just in my chest. <clears throat> but I know last year when we got announced that we had the, the Good Friday game, the Jets flat out said we are willing to host this game every year. Whether the league takes them up on it, I, I don't know. Um, we weren't at full strength this year, so I'm sure the numbers weren't what the league expected in terms of viewership. But if this team is healthy, I mean, this team is going to be a big draw, guys. We were a huge draw last year in the beginning of the season, even when Rodgers went down. So I know. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Blame Furious Graham, not me. I just read the comments. Like Deion Sanders said, look up. Look. Yeah. Got a half so far. Now we, need this. we do. We do. You look good. You feel good. You play good. When I coach football, my guys had to have their jerseys in. If they got sloppy and the jerseys came out, I pull them out of the game. I don't care if it's my best player. Stop pulling your jersey out. with And these jerseys on these little kids go down to their knees. 
Cut that shit. Get to the sideline. Have your mother come tuck your jersey in. I'm not sticking my hand down your pants. No diddy. Actually, yes, that is a diddy. That's yes, diddy. Yeah, that that play, that 99 yards, which through the mount that he ran, would be three miles. A fucking play took forever. If they should have took five minutes off the third quarter clock, with how long that play was. Oh, you know what I want to do? A little housekeeping here. I want to thank everyone who is now a member. I haven't been able to put anything together yet. I'm working on the ideas of how to. Um, I didn't expect the memberships to take off like this, so I'm just going to read everyone's name who's a member. Uh, and if I read your name afterwards, I'll, I'll go through all the what has it. Mark Reese, Cuca Lake Jet Fan, Rusty Spooner, Braden from New Zealand, Hank G., Monkey Man Stand, Nate, Jay, Tony Alexio, Papa Yeti, Mr. Scott Foster, J E T S, Mess, 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 Infrared Jets, Alan Avatar, the Buffalo Jet fan, Ricky, New York, Jaden D'Angelo with the infamous Denmark Andy icon, Crossfire, Charles Gorman, Snowball, Hadir Ali, Johnny Jimenez, Phenom, Patty Grimes, Dane O, Paul Klein, Knobcraft, who has been so generous gifting multiple. Crossfire gifted some last night. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Mo Dean, David D, Shane McGarry, and last but certainly not least, Mr. Wildwave. Those are the members of the Shiners. Uh, if you had your name read, please... Download the Discord app. If you have already, you can search Dano, one word, Dano, no space, or Proud NYJ fan. Friend us, and we will get you into the Discord group. Uh, some of the perks that you get are Sunday nights, our call-ins only for the paid members of the group. Uh, there's polls in the group to decide who can... Uh, We'll decide future topics on the show, future guests, things to do. Patty, I just mentioned you. I read your name off. If you are on Discord, friend me, Proud NYJ fan, and we'll get you into the Proud NYJ fan group on Discord. As long as you're a member, you are eligible to stay in. Uh, when your time is up, I hope you consider staying longer. Uh, I help plan a lot of things going on here. Yeah, I know. Times are hard, Bonesy. That's what she said. Times are hard, man. It's hard to find good help. So Dane offers. I take him up on it. Don't want him to cry. I want him to feel purpose. I don't want him to feel blacklisted or shunned upon here. I want him to talk highly about the channel when he goes on other channels. So I got to play into his psychosis a little bit. I got I to gotta roll out the red carpet for Dane. I got to keep him happy and involved. He's a great member of the chat and does a lot behind the scenes to help the channel. So I give him full reign. I give him everything except access to the YouTube channel because I'll just see an eight hour him uh, playing solitaire video one day because he was bored. I'm going to talk a little non-Jets real quick and then we're going to open it up. For Yankees fans. What's your thoughts of John Sterling retiring today? Finally. I'm a Yankee fan. And I thought John Sterling should, should have retired a decade ago. I thought he just, he wanted to do it until he died. I always said that John Sterling wanted to die on air, calling a home run, or his heart giving out doing a Yankees win. Just like I always thought Bill Belichick was going to die on the sidelines, and he would die, he would get angry, and he would throw the challenge flag, and he would drop to the ground before the flag would hit the ground. I just always envisioned those two guys dying on the job. And I say that as a, as a sign of respect to their commitment and never wanting to do without the thing that they love. But if Sterling is retiring after the offseason and two weeks into the season, you hope he's all right. He, he was fun. He's funny. He's weird. 
but he's ours for so long, right? Like I, that's, I don't like the shtick. And I always thought that he created the shtick to try to show up when he didn't get the yes job. A lot of stories were that he was bitter. They chose Michael K and not him for the yes games. So, yeah, Charles, it's, it's for a lot of people, it's the only one they've ever known. Patty, on the IOW show, I've said this for a while, that guys like Calipari, guys like Saban, they're going to move on. They're going to move on because they got players when they were paying them under the table. And as soon as that playing field got leveled, they wanted no part of it. They wanted no part of it. So what else? You guys got any other questions? If not, I know Johnny's sitting there tweaking his nipples right now, waiting to come on. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just what he's doing. I don't judge. It's a judgment-free zone here. Be who you are, Johnny. We know who you are. We know what you are. And we still love you anyway. We know what Dane is. We know what Jets chaos is. We know that there are some very interesting, unique characters in the Jet world. And we love and embrace all of you. Hey, VR Diesel, welcome. Your nipples have to be chafed dude. the amount that you do prep work. The amount of prep that you do, tweaking those nipples. Let's pin this message. There, the message is pinned. Johnny and Charles, I'm sure, eager to click. There's Johnny. Here's Johnny and Charles. I called both of it. Charles, give me a couple minutes with Johnny, okay? Then I'll get you in. What's up, bro? That, that shit. Now, finally. <laughs> this motherfucker comes on my show wearing this ugly-ass blue and orange all the time, and now I finally see him with the best hat that he owns. Johnny, I'm going to make a request right now. You are welcome to come on the show anytime you want, as long as that is on your head. Got you, bro. Dude, I went nuts today, bro. I ordered like seven hats, man, today, dude. Like I ordered a couple of them. One. Did you I, get I like... the one with above the letters, the J, just that slash? Did you get that one? The one that just the – um no, dude, I, don't, I didn't like not, it. Not the letter J, but on yeah, yeah, your yeah. hat, that, that thing that goes across the top, they have just that. Yeah, the jet. white in the green circle or oval. I think that looks fire. Yeah, I don't like it, bro. I don't like that logo. I was going to ask you that. I was like, what did you think of that that other logo, the ultimate? I'd get one? it for the boy. I wouldn't rock it for me. Yeah. I'm, I'm too old school. I want this. I want the whole thing. That's what she said. Uh, but I think the younger kids, that's something new for them. That's something that they might look at and say, hey, this is ours. This is, you know, that's the old guy's logo. This is something that we can rock. We can make our own for the next generation of Jets fans, you know? Agreed. Yeah, you know what? I need to think about that. Get that stuff for my kids, man. Like, I think for myself, dude, first and foremost, the uniforms are insanely Love them. sick. Love them. Uh, and my favorite one, and it's more, it's, well, my favorite one is the black one and the reasoning behind it, right? Okay. Because I, what happened? I'm no, I'm I'm listening. Oh, I'm because, trying to pull up the pictures of the black one while you're talking. Um, I feel like that embodies the the two generations, like because you know I talked to you about like how you know my pops and I we watch the games together and stuff like that, and that's where his biggest fandom of being like a jet like the great times. I mean, he's been a fan forever and a day, but he um he knew Gastineau, he knew Klecko, right? Because my pops used to work at the Garden City Hotel way back in the day so they used to be in that area all the time and my dad used to go to gas on those bar back in the day out on long island and um, nice. i thought that was like the perfect marriage of the two generations from the old school with the newer school right now with the black but still have that old look to it man so like i, I thought that was dope but them green ones 
Dude, they uh, those are the freshest one, man. That green with that the white bottom parts on it, with that freaking beautiful looking helmet on it. Yeah, dude, it just yeah. looks Here's mean as crap, bro. Like, Here's to me. I can't. I can't wait. Like, you know, my wife she wants us to get the uh, the A Rod jersey, so I'm probably gonna order those, and then um. She's like, hey, you got to get the onesies for the for the newborn. And I was like, oh, you know, that's getting ordered ASAP. But I wanted to come up, you know what I mean, and just just say that. I I mean, what's your thoughts on that? Like, that's how I'm looking at it with the black jerseys. I I like I love I love this look. I absolutely love this look with the the white collar with the white face mask, with the white letters on the helmet, the white sleeves on sauce, with the white gloves, the black, uh, the the green stripe down the side. Everything pops with this, you know? I felt that we were too dull. It was like uh, previously it was green shirt, white pants, black sn- cleats. It was bland. Agreed. It was bland. This is an outfit. This is... This pops. This complements. The helmet complements itself. Green helmet, white letters, white face mask. Boom. The jersey. Oh, hold up. Hold up. We got breaking news. Uh-oh. We got Nick breaking news. Hold on. Nick breaking news, not Jets. Do, 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 do. Oh, you got it? I'm on the road Tuesday. She just sent me the bus ticket and all the information. Dude, congratulations. Hell yeah, that's exciting. I don't know what to sing as a congratulations song. Congratulations, Nick. Now break it down. Mm, 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 mm. You got the job, bro. Mm, uh, 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 uh. They know can't match this. Mm, uh. I'm coming on your back. Hey. Hell yeah. Not you. Pull out game. Horrible. Just in general. Just in general. You mind if I bring someone else on with you? Yeah, man. I'm with it, bro. I'm happy today, dude. Them jerseys are tough. This is someone I am a huge fan of. You know, yesterday, I will do it again. I will, once I bring him in and we get his take, I will go and get his link and I will post it in the chat. He got a nice jump in subscribers yesterday. Let's get him another jump today. Let's build his channel. Mr. Charles Gorman, the superest man in all of Jetland. That's why I'm going to call you from now on. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, God bless John Sterling. Yes, uh, he was my favorite radio broadcaster growing up. Look, uh, who's the broadcaster for the Mets on the radio? Is it Howie Rose? I don't know if he does TV or, or radio. I know the name. I'm not sure. Let me look him up right now. Hold on. Let me share my screen. So people if don't I'm think I'm If I don't hear... Uh... Look at you. You're not even in the show. 30 seconds and you're taking over. Howie yeah, Rose. I was right. You. It is him. He's radio? Yeah, he's radio a radio broadcast. broadcast for the New York Mets. Okay. He's pretty good, too. I like him a All lot right. as well. All right. But, I, don't, um, I don't listen to any mess. I don't. I have to listen to uh, to Ron and um, and Keith, bro. Like those. Oh, those are good too. Ron, like Ron's, like you know, I'll have it playing on my on my earphones and all that when I'm listening to that stuff. You know what I mean? But Keith Hernandez Doc, is a pretty good analyst. Doc Gooden. I don't know if you guys. I mean, I know you guys. He know, ever know, Jersey but, retired yesterday. But dude, his speech yesterday. That thing, it it hits the heartstrings so hard. The part when he says, "If it wasn't for the Met fans and all that, I would not be alive right now, bro." Because you know of all the stuff he went to and, and whatnot, just the mental health issues that he had and stuff. Not like Gooden that. is Denmark Andy's mentor. Yeah, like literally, dude. So, uh, real quick, I'm sorry, real quick, Dakota, that logo is fire. It is. That's that what we're going does what we're resorting to now. Fire. Fire. I love how they mix the old green oval that we've had for the last couple. It's kind of the new twist on the legacy logo. It blends in 
because that 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 oval shape, whatever you want to call it, that jelly bean sh- shape, has been the Jets for the last since '98, since the Curtis jersey. So 26 years. I like that they they uh, evolved that a little bit. That's a really really good look. Jets will sign Zeke or Cam. I love it. I love it. Cam Akers is only Cam Akers. four years old. Who? Cam Akers is still only 24 years old, I think I saw the other day. That's, That's interesting. He's a good player when he's healthy. Yeah. I um, mean, Elliot's a great pass blocker, and I have never been a fan of Elliot. And I think last year with how bad that New England offense was, I think I grew a little bit of an appreciation for him. Uh, he can catch the ball in the backfield. He's an outstanding, outstanding uh, blocker and picking up the blitz. And I think the more days that go by, the more I believe that he is going to sign with us post-draft. What do you think, Charles? There's a possibility. I mean, he did have some very good years with the Cowboys, but I still don't think he's not as good as he used to be. Okay, enough with the Brock Bowers crap, seriously. I, 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 I Let me get the comments on. You talk, I'll do the comments. Yeah, I've been – You give me I've a take. Been, Johnny, what do you got? I've been a fan for Zeke, man, for a long time now. And how awesome would it be if we were able to go ahead and, um, you know, stick it to the Patriots, right? It would kind of be a big, giant F you to them. We bring in um, Zeke over here, and he wins that chip with us over here. So that's my take on it. And he is a good freaking um, pass blocker. It's the reason why I was sad when we let Bam McKnight go. I wanted Bam McKnight over um, Michael Carter, and people were calling me nuts for it, you know, which I get it. Michael Carter, I don't think he was bad because he did what he did in the in the first year he was with us. But it's we're in that league where – what have you done for me now type of thing, right? So That's a great point. Johnny, I know what you could do for me right now. Could you read that comment on the bottom of the screen, please, Johnny? You know, and I cheered for him when he was there. When he had that no-hitter. I, with I don't him. have my glasses on. Could you just read that comment for maybe anyone who's driving and they can't see it right now? Doc Gooden has a no-hitter as a Yankee. And he deserves it. And he deserves it because his father died like – that night before so he was playing with such a heavy heart and and doc good in fashion dude he went and throws in that no hitter dude it was hey i love doc good and man daryl strawberry that whole squad thank movie, you mr bonesy freaking keith you know what i mean i just feel like and that's the intensity that the mets right now need to play i was pissed with that hoskins slide into second dude dude should have just went up God, I think Lindor should have picked up a bat and just broke dude's leg with it. But, you know, that's not our, that's frowned upon now. But anyways. So what's up, Charles? Guy. I was waiting for your 50-hour freaking thing today. Going Superman, bro's 80th birthday. It's not going to be 50. It's not going to be 50 hours. It's going to be an episode today, an episode tomorrow, an episode Wednesday, another episode Thursday. It's going to be a weekly episode thing. You know, episode oh, nice. one, two. Yeah, I was gonna do that today, but decided to honor John Sterling. It's got like close to twenty views right now, and I, you know, John Sterling's been in broadcasting for over sixty-four years. Yeah, he's been broadcasting the Yankees for thirty-five. Is he eighty-nine huh? years old? Ninety. He's eighty-five. Eighty-five. Oh wow. He's retired because of health concerns. You know, his body can't recover the way it used to. Yeah. Plus, I think his children, or at least my age, if not a little bit older. Oh so. my god, his grandchildren are probably your age. Probably, yeah, but. You know, I know people call him a buffoon or a homer, but he's ours. He had yeah. a great voice. He was he's our buffoon. Life. He was full of life. He was full of energy. He was optimistic. Plus, he loved the game of baseball, which I think has been kind of lost to some degree. I don't think baseball is as appreciated as it used to be. Hey, Charles, you got Agreed. a flashlight to turn on? In Stop the- it. So we can see. You. It's a little bit dark. Stop it. Oh, hold on. I'll see. Hold on. No, Charles, you're good. Charles, sit down. You're fucking great. It's good. Charles, he was messing. Come back. Uh, Puppy Eddie says the hat sucks. He's just jealous that he doesn't know how to take the stickers off the bottom of his hat, and clearly you do. You Oh, oh you okay. don't know how to take them off the top. <laughs> All right. You guys are opposite. That hat sucks. Well, got I got them it. on the bottom of the rim, and Charles got them on the top. I got, a, I got a 15-year-old hat that can't even stay together. 
I have a Jets hat too, and it took me a while to take off the stickers too. I like that. You wore that uh, last night. I like. That hey, hat. so you're so you're more Superman, um, Charles than Batman. I always been, but not by much. Uh, I, I like him like an inch more, but it's not like an astronomical. Well, astron. It's not like a. It's like about an inch or two, like a nose hair. I'll show you a little bit of my. One that don't like Sterling as a Yankee fan. I'll show you a little bit of my. Because I'm a, I'm a giant nerd, bro. So like, this is one of my little right here. If you know the series from this, you should know. Detective it Comics, of, yes. Yeah. So, you know, then I got a little bit of red right over here. So, can you tell who's my favorite? Batman. You know it. The guy's the man, bro. He beat Sonny. Superman how Batman. old were you when you first earned your bat wings? See, I can ask think, all her questions I, too. I, I think I was. I, it was a. I lost it at hide and go seek. Nice. Hide and go get it. And anybody what was his name? Me, was that Mannery? Mannery. Yeah. Or Madden League, depending upon which decade you want to go on to. Yeah, I think Christopher, Christopher Reeve to me. Alive, I do like uh, Brandon Routh. I thought he did a decent job. Henry Cavill. You're going into categories that I can't get to, but. I did hey. like Tom Welling. My brother likes Tom Welling a lot. I also ben like Affleck Superman. Really good as a, as a Batman, and everybody hates on that dude. I thought he did the perfect one. Who that he could, um, Ben Affleck? I thought Ben Affleck did a good job, but to he's me, my favorite perfect, live action. He's the, he's the perfect one to go into the Batman Beyond. You know, no, it should Bruce be Michael King. Keaton. My favorite live action Batman is Michael Keaton. It is my favorite too, though. It was the man. Um, Christopher, go back to VR Diesel. Christopher Reeve, I think, really embodied that character. May his soul rest in peace. That's why so many people from my generation look up to him as the definitive Superman. And I did like uh, the new guy on television, Tyler Hoglin, on Superman and Lois. He does a good job as hey, Superman. But Christopher Ree was Christopher Ree was huge, dude. That dude was like six something. He's like six four. I, yeah, like two, like two eighty. I think it was. You know, it's funny. People don't notice the guy. Not. Not James Earl Jones, but the guy that physically portrayed Darth Vader trained Christopher Reeve to get into shape for the role. Darth Vader trained Superman too. Well, not not the character, but the actor that portrayed him physically. Hey Nick, yep. uh, I was gonna tell you. So I don't want to talk about draft because I'm so burnt on it, bro. Right? I don't want to talk draft, but. Uh... Charles, Johnny, you you uh, you had got my text earlier. You're good to co-host and hang out. Uh, hold on. You gonna hang out for a little bit? Yeah, I'm good right now. All right, Charles, I got another guest. I got to get in here. Thank you so much, guys. Search Charles Gorman on YouTube and go subscribe to his channel right now. And also become a Patreon member. There you go. Become a Patreon member. Start off with subscribing for the YouTube, and then you get all your Patreon info right there. But go support Charles, his channel, his endeavor. It's five dollars a month for Patreon. I support you, Charles. Then oh, go to my God. Patreon. I'm broke, dude. Charles, don't argue with people. You, you, you gotta be sweet. You catch more flies with honey. Yeah, man. Be I'm a bear. Don't, don't bully him. I'm not bullying. I'm just saying you're broke right now. Well, I'll see what I can do. He's got more kids than in the Oliver Twist orphanage. Yeah. Hey, I don't know, he's got like seven I'll, gazillion kids. How he's many not, fingers making you got? Babies. How many fingers you got? Times it times eight. And that's how many kids I got. Ten times eight is 80. There you go. All right, All right guys. Go out. check out Charles's it's the big dog eat. Charles, thank you so much, buddy. We'll talk soon. Keep up the good work. Thank you, man. Next up, we have another Yankee fan coming in for Jet Talk. Mr. Bobby, what's up, Bobby? Hey, how you doing, Johnny? How Bobby. you doing, Nick? How you doing? Hey, man. hey Bobby, hey, can I say something to you, Bobby? What? what? So, hey, Bobby, you know you, you, you're you my guy, right? And I appreciate you, bro. You you earlier getting super sad in regards about Keith, and I hope Keith yeah. does well. Bro, that hit me right in my heart, dog. I know. Oh, I, I don't know. I do not. I do not like seeing you get sad, bro. No, it's hard. It, he's a great guy. We got to get him to one of the 
check games for him. I agree. He's an older gentleman, and I feel bad for him. He's an awesome guy. He's awesome. I cried. I did cry. I, I know. Cried. Not like seeing you. Like yeah, no, I was sad, Nick. He, no, he has he's had a cancer. long career. Nick, he, no, no, not John. No, no, we're talking about this guy on um, Jake's this is, show. Um, Nick, there's this guy that's, um, he's battling cancer right now. And uh, his, name is, his name is Keith, right? Keith Best, I believe his name is. Yeah, he Keith calls, Best. He calls in often. And like half of the time, he's always at his chemo, um, wow. like his chemo stuff and everything. And he's like, listening to this makes me like keep going. I wanted to keep on going and all that. So then Bobby got all like real emo with it. It got me all sad. I'm over here like doing work and I had to stop. So no. That's sad. But he's a big Jeff fan. He went to it's the Shea to Stadium that, games. He went to Shea Stadium. Remember the Shea Stadium um, yeah, games? I remember that. Stadium. I went to one playoff game in Shea Stadium. Jets against Buffalo Bills and we lost, the Jets lost. Yeah. Remember uh, that game? Papa, yeah. Oh, his, his wealth of knowledge it, when it comes to the comics and the movies and the actors is is it's unheard of. It's mm. really really spectacular. And it it's honestly it's why I follow him with that because I'm a giant nerd, bro. So that's why while I was like talking about the detective comics of um of that. We, we be talking about like the last Ronin dude, like low key. I'm a giant nerd, bro. Like I, I you know, because I mean I grew up with my like older heads, right? So like I used to watch Thundercats. Um, he man, um, I mean, bro, like you just name them. That's Voltron, mm -hmm. uh, dude. I don't know, I could just keep going on and on and on about it. GI Joe, I don't know if y'all remember, but GI Joe with Transformers from back in the day, yeah. But he's awesome, bro. Like, Charles, that dude, he's super, like, and he speaks so proper, too, bro, which is so crazy to me, yeah, Mr. Bonesy. I'm a Jets nerd. You be the biggest nerd you want to be, bro. Yeah, Mr. Bonesy is awesome. You be you. Him. Nah, Mr. Bones not a Jets nerd. He's awesome. He's a Jets pervert. No, he's not. He's not a pervert. No, but I mean, you're death, crazy. But for the death, though. Yeah, but he's a great guy. Mr. Bones is awesome. Like Nick is. He has his great channel. Thank Nick, you. Nick, I'm going to sign up for your channel soon. Awesome. Awesome, yeah, thank you. Because I want to be part of that special call and show. I yeah, yeah, we do that on uh, Sunday nights, um, hour two. I open it up to only the Discord members, only the, the paid members can call in. Yeah, that's what I uh, like. To, I love to call yeah. in. You, Jeff, fan, uh, Jet play, uh, you know, Jet channels do great. On the Giants, you can't call in anytime. You really can't call in. Of them. You yeah, guys sure. talk to us. Fair That's enough. why I like Jake yeah. so much. And I like the other guys, too. They're talking about the That's time. awesome. I appreciate the feedback, man. And, and looking forward to you to becoming a member. When you become a member, are you on Discord already? No, not yet. All uh, right. I'll get... You can either, I think it's either the website or the app. I use the app on the phone. Uh, yeah. Download Discord. Oh, I'm on Discord, but I'm on Jake's. Okay. So all you do is when when you subscribe to the channel, yeah. uh, I'll get a notification uh, through YouTube, and then you just go to Discord and search "Proud NYJ Fan" and send me a friend request, and then I'll invite you into the group. Did anybody tell you, you look like Merlin Olson? No. He, you know, who Merlin Olson is. I know who Merlin he is. Olson. Yeah, yeah. You look like him a little bit with the beard. And then he used right. to play. He had more of like an orangey play. beard, though. Mine is. Yeah, I know what you mean. But yeah, stage. big shoulder, big guy. Yeah, I remember Merlin yeah. Olsen. Hey, Bobby, who I look... what? Who do I look like? You got to give me some love, too, Bobby. Uh, I got to think. I oh, haven't. Man, I didn't think of that, that I yet. Have. Jesus Christ. Next I wish time I talk to you, Johnny, I'll think of it. All so, right, John Sterling is going to be missed. I miss John Sterling. He's a great guy. I did not yeah. like Don Manley, though. Don 
don't like Don Mattingly. Don't like Don Mattingly. Bob, I don't even know if I can have you on the channel anymore if you don't like hey, Don I Mattingly. I don't like him. I, I, I think he's a big, you know what? I don't like him. Wow. He didn't right. give this kid an autograph when I was there at the game. Oh, I don't have to, I have time to give it to you. But John Sterling, Michael K gave the guy kid an uh, autograph. You okay. got to give time for kids to. Oh, it got me so mad. Yeah. And right. you know what they did to Bernie Williams, Brian Cashman? Do tell. There's another thing, another guy I can't stand. Bernie Williams, when he played for the Yankees, four years he won the World Series, right? Then when he wanted to come back to Yankees, Cashman was only going to give him a minor league contract. And you know what you could do with your minor league contract, Cashman? Point. Right up to you know where. <laughs> right? Do you agree with that? At Are that point of his career, I, I could see it, but I know it upsets you, so I do not want to take the other side of that argument because I do not oh, want to. Oh, you had to see me on Jake, so I couldn't. I, couldn't, I was going out of control today. I'm all crazy about him today. Johnny, you're awesome too. And you that Kena, you hear that Kena dreams? He gave like 50 memberships to Jake's chat today. You ever hear Kena dreams? Yeah, I've, I've heard of him. I know King yeah. Wilski pops in here a bunch. Oh, I like King Wilski. He's great. We got to get rid of that child. We got to get rid of this child. Nice. Yeah. So the Jets are going to be 11 and 6. That's my. That's it? Yeah. How far are they going in the playoffs? Oh, they're going to win the Super Bowl. I like it. it. I like it. Well, I'm a Giant fan, but they, I don't think, they're not going anywhere this year. They got rid of their best running back. He went to, he, he went to the Eagles. I can't stand the Eagles. Yeah. Well, when you cut a guy or you don't sign him, you let him go wherever you want. Well, if he went to another team in another division, yeah, but he wanted to stay in the New York Giant. Giants are stupid as crazy, you know. Hey, Bobby, what do yeah. you think of the new uh, logos that went out today? Did oh, I like them. Very colorful. I like them. I want them to wear the green. And then with the uh, my uh, Jake was saying about Friday, um, Black Fridays, if they wear that um, thing for Black Fridays. Uh, it's like the Dallas Cowboys and uh, what's it called Detroit Lions. They always play on Thanksgiving. Half the Jets play on Black Friday, right? Yeah, they petitioned the league about it last year, but there hasn't been any ruling or whatever decision. I think they should out. let them. We'll do learn it. in the next but couple of weeks. Know. Schedule usually you, comes out right after uh, the draft. You know they what they got to do to that stadium, though? Got to get regular grass. They got to. Get the grass in there. <clears throat> I have to say, get the grass in there, or we're going to get more injuries or not. It's tough to do, though. If they're going to put Why grass, not? you have what? Oh, what? when they're going to bring in for soccer? They're going to bring just it for soccer? Here's why. Because yeah. when it's the soccer, it's not games with back-to-back -back days. They're, they're spaced out. When it's the NFL – if yeah. the Jets played six games, I think, this year at home in the rain. All right. If you're the Giants and you would play yeah. on Monday night after the Jets just played on a sloppy, muddy field, yeah, you're going to be irate when there's clumps of grass. We had grass in the old stadium in the early 2000s. And it oh, was yeah, a that's disaster. True. And everyone hated it. And both teams decided we can't have this crap. The issue oh. with MetLife Stadium, in order to have it have grass for two teams yeah. – they would have had to do it when the stadium was built and have the trays that change and go oh, above yeah. and below the surface so you can change the field surface for grass, for grass, and then for concrete, for concerts and other events. Oh, why could it is, put a roof they, over? It's not just putting the grass surface in now. It's they yeah. would have to build that whole structure beneath the surface. Yeah. So that's the biggest issue. I agree. They can't I, get grass I because I Jets fans would lose their fucking minds if yeah. we had a play on a Monday night after right. a mud slop home game on a Sunday and their yeah. field conditions were poor. Twitter would explode. Why did you get grass? You knew you couldn't handle it. 
So why couldn't they get a, like a roof over the stadium? Then? Do you know how much it would take to build a roof in the New Jersey market with union rates and and parts? Oh and labor? yeah, the, oh, was a, yeah, that's true. Hey, no, look at the Dallas a- Cowboys; they have it. They know their stadium. Labor is a lot cheaper down in Texas exactly. than it is oh, okay. in the New York, New Jersey unions. Yeah, the that's New York, true. New Jersey I, union prices are what yeah. drove up the cost of that stadium. That's why it's so mm. goddamn generic and cost more than Dallas. I, I mean, gotcha. I, I, would, I would love for them to bring the uh, stadium to Long Island or or back in Queens. I mean, they just uh, real quick. Can- guys. Papi Yeti, I think um, Adam is doing Watu K is doing um, hockey. Yeah, he's doing the final game, the Rangers yeah. versus Senators game today. Yeah. And I'm actually gonna I'm gonna get off, guys. That's what she said. Yeah. Um, I know Jake is still on. I know Green Bean just hopped on. Uh, but I wanted to come on for a little bit before I ate dinner. As soon as I got in for my daughter's softball game, I had a little right. energy burst, and I was like, you know what? Let me come on. Let me chat with everybody. See what you guys think. And uh, how's your friend from Australia? Denmark. Denmark, yeah. He he flying so high. He may have flown over Australia. Who knows? He might be I there. I know. Somewhere. Remember what he did on my <laughs> yeah, uh, on the show? You remember? Oh, I remember. Yeah. You remember? I yes, I did. I could have. You never did that, nervous. right? You're a good you're a good guy, right? No, I never do that stuff. I do smoke the grass, but I do not do that. that. That's why you want the grass in the stadium. You think it's that grass. No, no, no. no. I'm I'm just saying I wasn't thinking like you did. That was a good point you poured out. I didn't think. Uh, Like you said, they should have put the trays, like you said. Yeah, it's more than just let's put grass. It's Mm -hmm. having to build the infrastructure, having the ability to get down under the surface, do it. How long that would take, um, it's something I think would have to happen right after the season. So I think by now, if it hasn't started with the concert schedule and everything that's already booked throughout the summer, uh, Mm -hmm. it's not happening. No, I I, I don't think it's happening. Very good. I appreciate you, Broham. You are the man. Thank you for the support. Congratulations again, bro. Well deserved. You are the man. Peace out, Bobby. Wait, man, Bobby. Hey, congrats to you, dog. You know what I mean? Thank and you. hey, to many more blessings, bro. Like you thank said, dude, you, thank you, thank one you. door I'm closes, excited. another one opens. I'm excited. I got to uh, I gotta take the train or a train to New York and then a bus out of Midtown next week out of the Port Authority there into uh, – to like Scranton or Wilkes Bar, Pittston is is close to there. Hey, hit Dano up. I think Dano's in that around that area. He's in Pittsburgh. He's five hours away on the other side of the state. Oh, uh, this is Pittston. <laughs> Pittston is up hey, by man, Scranton and Wilkes Bar. What? Say again. The geography wasn't my class. That wasn't my. No, subject. I know. I know. <laughs> All right, brother. Hey, I appreciate you, dog. Thank you for uh. uh and on the platform for over here today, man. The this is it, bro. This is it. I like it. This is our year, it. dog. I got to get J E T. I bought one last year. I bought the green one that I had on, but the green is the same color as the green screen, so it blends in, and I hate it. It drives me crazy to look at. Um, I got like OCD with that stuff. You got to put the stadium and, one uh, back just to get weed. I, I ordered the white one with the green lettering. But I ordered it uh, like a half an inch too small, and like it's too tight, so I gave it to my son, and he loves it. Yeah, hey, I gotta wear snapback, bro, because I got too big of a head. Yeah, I hear you. All right, bro. Attention, employees of Thunder Mifflin. Later, dude. Later, buddy. All right, guys, I'm gonna head out. Thank you, everyone, for popping in. I will see you Wednesday night on Jets. Chaos, his channel, the Pride and Chaos show, 9 p.m. And then back here Thursday night after Green Bean. Green Bean's live now. Head over to Green Bean and tell him Nick Shine sent us. Go invade Green Bean's chat and tell him that you're all there because I told them to come watch. Later, guys. Thanks for watching. Good night. I'll see you guys in the chats.